Hey, so today I'm going to talk about my latest project. Um, this is just one of the many baby steps to get to uh, a bigger project, <clears throat> which I'm not going to really talk about yet. Um, but today's little baby step is an Airdar. Uh, so, uh, whereas radar is uh, radio wave based detection and arranging. Um, uh, we're doing something similar with infrared. Uh, and so what we have here is a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's hooked up to a Adafruit 16 channel servo driver. And then down here we have a MCP3008 chip, uh, which is used to uh, read the voltage off of this uh, IR distance um, sensor. And the IR distance sensor, in turn, is mounted on a servo, <coughs> which is controlled by the uh, the servo driver. Um, and then I'm going to write a little bit of code over here. Um, <coughs> and so now what it's doing is <laughs> it's shaking its head no. Now it's uh, scanning back and forth. Um, it's going from about negative 45 degrees to 45 degrees. Um, and I'm going to put down the camera over here and hopefully you can see the output. Um, so what you're seeing is from top to bottom it's 45 degrees to, or negative 45 degrees to 45 degrees. Um, and <clears throat> uh, left is closer and right is farther away. Um, so right now it's picking up a lot of stuff. But I am going to basically create a signature. Uh, you can see it's clustering slightly to. Uh, so, bottom of the screen is more to my right, and higher up on the screen is to my left. So, as I move to the left, you'll see the group of blips gradually shift to the top of the screen. Uh, and then I'm going to move back to the right again, and you'll see those blips scoot back down the screen. And it takes a little bit to uh, stabilize. Um, and then as I get closer, you'll see the group of dots move to the left of the screen. So now I'm moving closer to the sensor. Um, and you'll also see that it's taking up uh, a larger area. Um, now that I'm closer to the sensor, um, I'm basically blocking its entire view. So I'll try to get really close, and I'm really close, and then I'm going to back away. And you can see the cluster is also backed off. So it kind of works. Uh, it's not quite as um, precise as I'd like it to be. It's not really good at picking up small objects and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of nifty. And I'll talk more about it in the blog and I'll uh, post the code on GitHub as well. Cool. Bye.